What's going on guys? Johnny aka Tropical Fish Guy here. Today we're going to talk about something very important. Mystery killer of your aquarium fish. Okay, so lately I've been having a problem with these two fish tanks here. This one and this one. About uh, I've been I've been getting guppies and and uh they've been dying off. They've been getting um the uh, the bacterial infections, um, you know, I've been treating them with the medications. I just couldn't get them to live, and now my beta starting started dying. Uh, the cool uh, flare beta that I had, the um, the cool multicolored bell tail that I showed you on the previous video, he died. He started acting weird for no reason. Of course, the number one reason we got to test the water quality. Water quality was great. Um, something something weird was happening. So, you know, I was doing my water changes, and lo and behold, something very weird happened to me. As I was dipping my, as I was dipping my thumb, and my thumb had a little scratch on here. As I was dipping my thumb into the uh, water to siphon the gravel, I felt an electric current just running. And it kind of shocked me, and I was like, holy crap, no way. So if I'm feeling it, I, I mean, I put it in there, I go, ow, like that. If I'm feeling it, certainly my fish are going to feel it. So lo and behold, I got my multimeter here, tested out the current, the electric current, and the current is, is, uh, is definitely present. Let me show you what I did how I figured it out and hopefully how I fixed it. So uh, let's show it. So I took my multimeter here. Um, you want to put it on the AC. Some of them might say VAC or ACV. Mine says ACV. And you want to, um, this one's a little high. It starts at 200, goes to 750, but if you have one that shows less than 200, that's good, but this one worked just fine. So what I've done is I've plugged in the one of the one of the uh, prongs here into a extension cord outlet um, pluggy thing right there, little prong in the in the hole. Uh, it doesn't matter which one I tested on which with uh, either either outlet um, cover, either outlet, uh, whatever you call them, outlet thingies there. Um, so I plug that in there. I take the other end here and I put it, so I put the other end of the tester of, of the prong into the water and I read 0.7. Okay, so that's at the 200 level. So that's 0.7 there, and on the other tank, and the other tank, 0.7 as well. Now, they're both connected to separate outlets, uh, separate uh, power strips, but they go into one outlet. So that may be why it's they're both reading to the same. If I unplug, I unplugged the outlet that goes to this one and the reading dropped dramatically 0.3 or 0.2 something like that um, but I thought at first you know hey might as well thank you uh, I'll need you again here might as well I, I thought okay so I, I unplugged one of the outlets and the reading dropped okay so I thought I hey We'll, we'll replace the um, power strip with a awesome super duper power strip that's a surge protector, a uh, AC contamination thing, and uh, so that will take care of it. But no, it did not. As you just saw, it, it made, it actually brought it down Point one. So it, it helped a little bit, but that wasn't the root cause. The root cause, so I started unplugging stuff, right? 
I started unplugging stuff from this power outlet here, this uh, power strip here. Um, so I started unplugging things one by one. No effect, no effect, no effect, no effect. So I was like, okay, that's cool. Then I came over here and I started unplugging stuff. No effect, no effect, until I unplugged this one here. When I unplug that, that goes to the Aquion. Um, I think it's Aquion 20, maybe. Aquion 30. It's so Aquion 30. And then what happens is that I measure it again. Put this in here. That point 0.2. Measure it again in here, point 0.2. So as you can see, thank you, as you can see, a very dramatic effect, and I, and I unplugged everything else too, all the other stuff, uh, but it didn't, it didn't go down any further. So from point 0.7 to point 0.2, I mean that is a dramatic, dramatic effect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off. This is leaking electricity into the fish tank and I'm guessing I'm not the electric guy I'm just the fish guy but I'm guessing that since maybe they both both of these power strips are attached to the one outlet down there they'll share electricity I don't know but I tried to move all the stuff from from the one power strip onto one tank and still both tanks had the effect so that didn't work still both tanks had the 0.7 to 0.8 voltage so I've been frying my fish uh, in water I've been electrocuting my fish I am a uh, fish fry murderer uh, what <laughs> but uh, I mean that's not it's not funny but you know, I, I've been trying to struggle with this issue and been doing water changes, been testing the water, been putting um, uh, buffer in there and, and to no avail. And then just by accident, I found out that lo and behold, it's a problem. And to, and to show you guys that the other fish tank, this fish tank wasn't exhibiting any problems over here this tank was doing just fine with all its fish so if I hey we do one more time sorry dear. so this this tank is run by that power strip there along with the uh, quarantine beta tank there uh, so this one reads zero and that has a light and a filter and a pump going through. And this quarantine beta tank here has a heater and a light. Put that in there. Zero. So those are doing well. These were kind of having issues. That one more so than this one. I don't know why. Thank you. And uh, but. I figure that if I can feel the current, they can feel the current. So that is one thing, and I don't think I'm trying to grasp at straws here uh, because I have been, I've medicated, I've tested water, I've uh, done all those sort of things that you would normally do, you know, to troubleshoot your fish tank. And everybody seems to be doing well except my problem is I think maybe the sensitivity of the guppies and maybe that beta in there uh, he um, he didn't make it which is pretty sad because he was a cool beta beta fish anyway so wanted to share with you guys that um, electricity running through the fish is not a good thing um, if you grasp it, if your fish are dying a slow agonizing death, 
um, and you can't figure out any reason why, then using a multimeter, I'll put a, I mean, you can get a multimeter at Lowe's or Home Depot, but I guess I can put a link in the description below uh, for you guys or something up here. Um, tropicalfishguide.com slash voltage. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I'll put, I'll put a, a multimeter in there that you can try. I don't know if it'll be this exact one, but I'll, I'll do some research and get a good one. But if you, um, if you're having strange luck with your fish just dying off for no reason, guppies, betas, um, even the, the neons were starting to lose their color too. Uh, you know, maybe possibly just check. I mean, it doesn't hurt to check, right? Um, so 0 0.2, 0 0.3, well, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, I think is the lowest I got on there. Um, so, you know, none is best, but I think there's going to be some with, with the power and stuff, you know, the power filters and the lights. But uh, hopefully this, uh, if you find, uh, you know, and if you do find the current, uh, start unplugging things one by one and find out which uh, electric device is the culprit. So um, hopefully this helps you out because I, I do believe that's it and I'll keep you informed for sure. Uh, and I'll add some more guppies and we'll, I'm going to probably put that beta fish in quarantine in, in, in this tank. Uh, he didn't really like being in a bigger tank, but hopefully he'll like in this one. But anyways... Uh, Give me a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Um, very rare, I would think, that this happened. I mean, this has never happened to me before that I know of. Uh, it could be, you know, and I just thought it was something else. I don't know. But uh, I thought I'd share it with you guys. So give me a like, uh, leave me a comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Go to my website at tro tropicalfishguide.com. See what else I got out there. Uh, if you want a uh, free beta, care, uh, beta fish care guide, go to uh, betafishcareguide.net. And uh, I'll leave a link in the description below or up here too. And you'll get uh, the free uh, ebook on how to take care of your beta fish. Best stuff I feed, you know, that, that kind of thing. Um, how to take care of beta fish, all that kind of stuff. So... Thanks a lot for watching. Really appreciate you guys. Uh, lots of uh, happy fish, hopefully. And uh, I thought I'd pass this on to you. So happy fish keeping. Peace.